What's up, YouTube? I got a box chainsaw. Maybe I paid too much? I don't know, guys. But it is what it is. So it's a 2020 Husqvarna 450 Rancher. Runs smooth as it can be. Paid $175. So here's the problem. They replaced the bar. I guess they bent the bar. They replaced the bar. They didn't replace the chain. And it pops off. The, spro the sprocket, everything looks okay. Another thing I just seen that the drum, the brake didn't work. So I ordered, hold on, let me get it out. I ordered an OEM new one. It was only 30 some dollars. I like chain brakes. Some people say, oh, you don't need a chain brake. I need a chain brake, guys. It's all about safety. If a customer brought one in with no safety chain brake, I would not work on it unless they let me fix it. Because it's dangerous, and I know people who's actually had to go to court over something that stupid. So, that's where I stand on that. Anyway, I got it a little dirty. Anyway, what's going to put? I got a new chain. Where did I lay the new chain? Right here. Even went up with OEM Escobarna X Cut 4 5th, so 20 inch bar. Oh, yeah, it's got a 20 inch bar, guys. Um, so let's get to work. Let me see where I can put your camera where y'all can see what I'm doing. Ooh, don't think y'all can see me there. Y'all see me there? No, wait, wait, wait a minute. Might rock a little. Okay. Need more light in this shop. All right. So let's take this off here. And you can see some damage. I don't know how good you're going to be able to see the damage because of the light. But there is, this is all bird and stuff. Um, and the new one, nice and pretty. So we'll put that on. Let's get a chain. Why does this chain look used? So this package was open at Tractor Supply, and this when I when I got it home, I noticed the package was open, and this chain looks used. Oh, Tractor Supply, really? Tractor Supply, you put a used chain back on the shelf. Let's hope that it's still okay. Thirty-three dollars now for something used. Come on, Tractor Supply, do better. Do better. Put the chain in the right direction. It has to be this direction. Alright, lay that here. Right here. Hopefully, I can still see. Gonna get good at camera angles here. And hopefully, once we get this all done, we won't pop off no more. Oh, chainsaws. You're not my favorite thing to work on.
pop on the back bar. There we go. Beautiful. to do some Want some pull that should be good Hopefully y'all seen that. All right. And then we got enough pool. Um, move the camera around here. See what? All right, y'all should see. Y'all see my messy shop? Okay, y'all see my messy shop? She smiles, sounds smooth. I had a little issue with the brake. I had to just have to tighten this up a hair more. But it didn't pop off no more yet. Um, I'm gonna go cut a tree tomorrow. But tell me what y'all think. Was it worth the 175? I did have to buy, put about $60 in parts. It, I think this is the one retails around five something still. It's a 2022. I, I think it's, it's a pretty smooth machine. And I think it'll do great around this property. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Share this out. It makes it one of the small engines, best small engine channels on YouTube, guys. I will see y'all in the next one. Later, everybody. Thanks for watching.